Jean-Jacques Hublon, Scientific Reports. North Africa is the key area for understanding hominid population movements and the expansion of our species. Continuing, it is home to the earliest currently known Homo sapiens. Casablanca. Of course, the region has been immortalized as the scene of one of the greatest movie classics of all time, Casablanca. Jebel Erhud. Science.com 2017. For decades, researchers seeking the origin of our species have scoured the Great Rift Valley of East Africa. Now their quest has taken an unexpected detour west to Morocco. Researchers have redated a skull from a cave called Jebel or Hood to a startling 300,000 years ago. Also, new fossils and stone tools. The result is the oldest well-dated evidence of Homo sapiens. Smithsonian, fragments of skulls, jaws, teeth, and other fossils 300,000 years old. Advanced stone tools found at Jebel or Hood are the oldest remains of Homo sapiens found so far. A paper was published in Nature, May 2022. The relevance of late Middle Stone Age mandibles on the emergence of modern morphology in Northern Africa. Abstract, between 1969 and 2008, the sandstone quarries of Thomas I and III near Casablanca yielded several cranial, facial, and dental remains of fossil hominids. Continuing from 1954 to 1956, the Tiganef quarry east of Mascara in Algeria, previously known as Ternifine or Palakal, yielded two nearly complete jaws. Nature, mostly referred to as Aterian, these fossils fill a gap in the North African fossil record between Jebel or Hood and Ibero Maurizians. The mysterious Ibero Maurizians. Definition, science.org. Talfara individuals are associated with the later Stone Age Ibero Maurizian culture. According to a paper published in the Journal of Human Evolution 2020, skeletal remains of the Ibero Maurizian people 25,000 to 11,000 years ago suggest they had robust features. The Ibero Maurizian Enigma, North African progenitor or dead end. Professor Joel Irish, Liverpool University, analyzed dental, facial morphology, cranium, and postcranial data. The study found Ibero Maurizian are extremely divergent, little if any genetic link, from late Pleistocene Nubians. Conclusion Talfarat Ibero Maurizians are more akin to Sub Saharan Africans. The study did find, though, Talfarat Ibero Maurizians are similar to other North Africans, including such Maghreb groups as Capsians and Berbers. Additionally, an interesting sidebar, they show a distant affinity to Canary Island Guanches. A team from the Max Planck Institute was able to recover DNA from a cave in Morocco, Grota de Pigeons. Science reported March 2018, oldest DNA from Africa offers clues to mysterious ancient culture. From the paper, we sequenced high quality DNA obtained from pwn samples of seven individuals from Talfarat in eastern Morocco dating from the later Stone Age, about 15,000 years ago. Important clarification, the Talfarat individuals are associated with the later Stone Age Ibero-Maurizian culture. 
From the paper, Talfarat suggests substantial sub-Saharan African-related ancestry, but not additional ancestry from upper Paleolithic European populations. From Nature, Hublon, May 2022, the Jebel Urhud and Atyrian humans share a robust cranial facial mandibular morphology. Strange hominid mandible and skull fragments found near Rabat. More hominid fossils were discovered near the coastal city of Rabat at a quarry named Kebibat. They include 23 cranial fragments and a mandible. The Kebibat human remains have been attributed to a population featuring a mixture of archaic and modern traits. Scientific reports May 2022. The isolated Kebibat hominin has been classified as a morphological link between archaic and modern populations in Africa. Jean-Jacques et al. date the fossils at 140,000 years ago. They describe them as quote-unquote more archaic morphology. Jebel or Hood to Kebibat to Iwo Eloru. The Iwo Eloru skulls were discovered in 1964 in southeast Nigeria by explorer archaeologist Thurston Shaw. In 2011, Chris Stringer and Katarina Harati published an extensive study on the fossils, the later Stone Age Calvaria from Iwo Eloru, Nigeria, morphology and chronology. Stringer Harvati, Iwo Eloru was characterized by a more elongated cranial vault and flattened frontal bones. Its brow ridge was also slightly more forward projecting than the average modern human shape. ASU professor Christopher Stanjowski, 2014, Iwo Eloru in Nigeria preserves the only Pleistocene fossils from tropical West Africa. The peoples of the region contributed to significant population movements throughout the continent. Were there multiple waves of archaic hominids from Northwest Africa expanding southward prior to the Bantu expansion 4,000 years ago? Archaic hominid DNA admixture 300,000 years ago into modern Central Africans? Stay tuned. More to come on Jebel or Hood. Thank you for watching. As a footnote, there is a lot to uncover on this topic. We have just scratched the surface. I hope this was a good intro, but there is much more to come, so you're going to want to subscribe. Thank you again.